Hello friends and once again welcome to BIPSolution.com Today I am going to, show, show, going to show you another interesting example of how do you move your data from your input queue which is block storage queue to ASO queue. In the previous example I taught you how you can use X reference function, X write function in order to move data from BSO to ASO queue. Today I would be using a smart push in a cloud from where you can push your data from block storage to aggregate storage. Okay, so basically using a smart push user can instantly move data, comments, attachment and other supporting details from your source queue which is input queue to your reporting queue which is your ASO queue. The possible data movement can be block storage to ASO and block storage to another block storage queue. So let's see. In today's example, I would be using one input cube and one ASO cube. So let's see the dimension structure of it. My source cube in this example is your plan one cube. And this is the dimensionality of it. Take a snapshot of it. So this block storage data with these dimension, I'll put into my ASO cube. Let me label it over here. It's a BSO cube. Or input queue. This I am going to move it to my ASO queue called Vision ASO queue. So the dimension ID should be same, otherwise, we need to define an unmapped dimension. So let's see what dimension required to be, uh, which is not mapping over here. So when I put both the cube together and I compare. ASO reporting queue. What I found, I have account dimension common, entity common, keep underline them, account, entity, HSP view, HSP view is not common, period, product, scenario, year. So these are the common dimension. What is missing here, HSP view is missing, which exists in my block storage queue. And here there's a channel dimension which doesn't exist in my BSO queue. It does not exist, but it exists in my ASO queue. So these are the two dimension which are required to be mapped, which doesn't exist in each other queue. Okay. So let's see how do you do that. So this missing dimension called channel, this dimension I create as a smart smart list which i already did this so if the dimension doesn't exist alternate way you can create a corresponding smart list i create a smart list a smart list name is called channels I'm given the same name and this is basically has a list of possible channels these are the possible values it has distributor retail oem direct these are the channels which already exist under my ASO queue. So if you look at the ASO queue, which is my target queue, these are the possible channels. And for corresponding these members, I create a smart list with these are the values. So you create a smart list named as channel and make sure you define missing drop down label. So if drop down label is not defined, by default it map to no channel. You see, no channel is also one of the member from a channel dimension and target ASO queue, isn't it? So if you wish, you can take a snapshot of it so that you know actually how the values are going to become there when data push take place. So I'll take a snapshot of it. And this will help me to see the mapping from my input queue to my ASO queue. right now let's define the mapping so mapping you can define from data exchange data exchange data map there are two options we have data map and data integration i use data map i'm going to create new data map so i name it as a my block storage to aso queue bso to aso queue so source is my block storage queue which is plan one 
and target is my ASOQ. So by default, what happened? Your system takes a one-to-one -one mapping. So in my source dimension, I put account dimension. All level zero member of account dimension goes to all level zero of account dimension. Similarly, this is default setting. All entities, level zero entity data will go to entity level zero data, period, product, scenario, and version. If you wish, you can click on this and change the type. I use level zero. You could use descendant, parent, ancestor. Right? You can use different functions from here or you can use a substitution variable as well. So I'll go with the default selection. In the bottom, you see there are two dimensions which are unmapped, which I just now shown you in the snapshot. So HSP view dimension does exist in my input queue, but does not exist in my ASO queue. And there's another dimension called channel. So both dimensions shown over here as unmapped. What I'll do, I'll uh, move my channel to up from unmapped to map dimension. And here, channel dimension I define as a smart view. I have an option called smart list. Sorry, I'll select as a smart list. And this smart list dimension is a channel dimension. Right? Smart list channel dimension. Actually, channel dimension is a product dimension. It's account dimension member. Pro account dimension member under assumption called product channel. So you see product channel is is a source dimension will map to your target A. So cube is a channel dimension. This is smart list. This is dimension. Get a snapshot of it as well and see how it maps to. So these are all mapping explicit mapping. Uh, whereas channel is through smart list. Okay, so I can compare it now. Here we have taken a snapshot. Just go to the bottom and paste it. So this channel is basically a smart list. Right, this is a smart list. And this is actually a member from my product dimension. So all mappings are defined. Right now you can save and close it before I run this map. I like to show you this is actually a account dimension assumption under account dimension. We have a statistics. We have an assumption over here. A revenue driver assumption called product channel. And if you look at this, this is smart list type. This is Data type is a smart list and the name of a smart list is channel. So this is actually a correlation chip. This is a correlation chip. Here, a smart list account dimension member called product channel data type is a smart list and name of the smart list is a channel the one which we created over here created over here and the mapping defined under smart push okay now our mappings are done we are ready to run it there are multiple ways you can run it you can associate the smart push to data form or you can explicitly run it. I'm going to show you how to run it explicitly. In order to do this, I created two smart form. One is for block storage, which is your source. This data will push to your ASO queue. If you do not select product channel, the default value would be no channels. Right? So if you do not select product channel, system will take a default value as uh, no channel. I think I have not taken a snapshot. But here there's a property called no channel. Okay, so no channel is also a channel a dimension member for no channel. So this is my source, right? And this data is going to push in my block storage queue. So before I push it, I manually remove all data and submit this data. So right now I have no numbers. I don't have any numbers. I remove all numbers everywhere. Submit all numbers. So by default, it will go to no channel. 
if you want you can select product channel and select specific channel from product as well distributor so for example i select distributor so these numbers will push to my aso queue under distributor and default selection is no channel okay right so aso has no data right now and bso has got this data now let's take a snapshot before you run it so i just put the number over here this is my source and this is my target um okay i don't have enough space i'll put it over here this is my target and this is my source and you remember i have used a product channel over here as distributor so data will go to your intersection of product channel distributor had i not select this it would have been default as no channel right okay now you can run the smart push this take little time <coughs> so go to data exchange you can invoke as a job or push smart data push data it asking you do you want to push clear data before you want to run it you can say yes or no i select yes so this will take little more time uh, and the status of this you can see under job it will take few seconds let's wait for this to be completed you continue to refresh this this will take little more time so i see the smart push is still going on it will take another few more seconds so i see the data push process it appears it got completed let's look at the job status in the job it is still showing as processing and when you refresh it i still don't see data it is still processing it will take another few more seconds let's click on this process and see what is happening okay i still see data is being exported data is being exported let's wait for another few more second okay i found this got completed let's click on this so 17.5 mb data got exported and exported time taken uh, the following members are dynamic calculated and therefore they did not push thus the data form from the source queue for these members will be ignored these members got ignored okay now let's see the numbers so this was my source queue bso cube and we use product channel and distributor okay and look at the target so target when i refresh i see the data got available only for distributor because i use source as distributor had i not select distributor the default value was no channel right so that is my final output from distributor initially it was no value upon refresh i see the value is for distributor right this is your target value we can rerun this and this time i remove this product channel when you remove the product channel the default value would be no channel which is given the smart view smart list so click on smart list and channel when you don't define any channel the default is no channel you see it missing drop down label is no channel so i'm going to rerun this once again and this time i remove the product channel from here and the default value would be no channel so right now no channel has no numbers right and we rerun this no channels so i go to uh, data push data exchange and rerun this this time I use no channel push data and do you want to clear data before you say yes the data will be clear 
and new data will be pushed from block storage to aggregate storage. This will take another few seconds. Let's wait. So it appears got completed. Let's check the job. The job is still processing and it is showing extracting data. I'm going to wait for a few more seconds. Let's refresh and check. The job is still processing. Unless it got completed, we cannot see the numbers. So let's wait for 30 more seconds. So now I see the job. The job exporting data is done, 17.5 MB. My job got completed five seconds before. VSO to ASO. When you refresh it, this is your data. And this time it is available to no channel as well. Because product channel, I removed it. So default value is no channel. You see the same numbers push from your block storage queue 256220. This number push from block storage to aggregate storage. So this is how this is an easiest way you can move your data from your uh, data input queue to your reporting queue. The same could have been associated with data form and upon uh, data form save, data push triggers automatically from input queue to ASO queue, which I'll show you another example. So that's it for today. Should you have any question, please feel free to write to us, dhpsolutions.com. Thank you.